waste of space. Sussexes encountered a backlash from Americans, must prepare mentally get out. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry face waning support in the US, according to a royal expert, after a surprise reaction to the couple's magazine cover. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could face a growing backlash in the US, according to one royal expert. This comes after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex graced the cover of Time following their inclusion in the magazine's annual Top 100 list of influential people. The editor Richard Eden told Palace Confidential that the couple seems to divide opinion in the States just as much as here in the UK. Palace Confidential host Joe Elvin questioned whether the magazine cover showed the divide between a more supportive coverage of them in America as opposed to the UK. Mr. Reedon said, I should say there are a lot of Americans who feel very strongly about this. If we say, oh Americans love this. Well, lots of them do not. There have been a few articles recently that have been very negative about Harry and Meghan. Mr. Eden added, they certainly seem to divide opinion in the States just as much as here. The divide in the US towards Harry and Meghan appears drawn along political lines, as US TV conservative pundit. US conservative pundit Candace Owens, who frequently appears on TV, tweeted, I honestly cannot. The live emasculation of Prince Harry continues. I would never want my husband to be embarrassed like this in front of the world. Just so pathetic. Similarly, conservative columnist Matt Walsh branded the magazine cover featuring Prince Harry and Meghan Markle a sad display for the Duke. Sharing the front cover featuring the Sussexes, Mr. Walsh tweeted, Harry crouching behind his wife while grabbing onto her shoulder is the perfect representative of the modern beta male. The man has just been absolutely neutered. A sad display. The media loves it. In his response, Democratic Party Congressman Ruben Gallego defended Harry, pointing out that the Duke is a veteran who served two tours in Afghanistan. He tweeted, There was a bounty put on Harry's head when he served in Afghanistan as an attack pilot. He chose to still go. That doesn't sound very beta to me. Harry faced a previous backlash from conservative commentators after he called the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution bonkers during a podcast appearance. In response, Senator Ted Cruz simply tweeted, Nice that he can say that. Representative Dan Crenshaw added, Well I just doubled the size of my Independence Day party. Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a primetime special, is a two-hour televised event and the first sit-down interview with the couple since their BBC engagement interview in November 2017. While the content of the interview has been kept under wraps, has released teaser videos ahead of its premiere. In a second promotional clip, that was released just hours after Buckingham Palace said it will launch an investigation into claims that Meghan bullied former royal staff, the Duchess of Sussex described the royal family as the firm and accused them of perpetuating falsehoods. Meghan and Harry have received criticism for their decision to do the interview, with Good Morning Britain host Piers Morgan claiming on Twitter that every time a British royal prince marries an American woman it turns into a total disaster that massively damages the monarchy. But across the pond in the US, celebrities and broadcasters have rallied around the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The women of popular talk show The View were united in their response as they revealed they were Team Meghan. Co-host Sonny Hostin said the timing of the announcement that Buckingham Palace is investigating bullying allegations was calculated. She told, I'm really shocked that rather than trying to mend this rift, rather than supporting Meghan and Harry, who I think removed his wife and his family from England because of the terrible racial hatred that she was subjected to, and he didn't want history to repeat itself after what happened to his mother with the media. I'm just surprised that they haven't tried to even apologize for not protecting her more, and instead do this.